Hey guys, welcome to Planting 101. My name is Corinne. Today's topic is how to water your plants. So did you know that root rot, infection, disease, and bugs in, in household plants is called is caused by overwatering? You know, people think, oh, I'm loving my plant, I'm giving it extra love, and really we're killing our plants slowly but surely. <laughs> So what are the signs that we're killing our plants slowly but surely? Like Lauren. <laughs> All right. So if your plant is, if your plant leaf is crumbly like this, yeah, definitely underwatering, right? If your plant leaves look like this, they're yellow, you're overwatering. Yeah, for sure. And if your leaf looks like this, I would advise you to change the soil. Uh, there may be disease or bugs or infection. So I would uh, change the soil for sure. All right, so when do we water our plants? All plants in general, even if you have an outside garden or an inside garden, they like to be uh, watered in the morning because it gives them a chance to use that water energy and absorb it. If you water your plants in the evening time, the water just sits there and they don't get to use it and it increases your chance of bugs and infection. Um, and if you have a lot of plants, <laughs> that can be an issue. <laughs> Definitely. So how do I water my plants? Uh, okay, so if you have, and let me just do a side note very quickly. You see this guy, this piece lily? So you see how these leaves are yellow? There's just two of them. That's normal because look how many leaves he has. So don't worry that you're overwatering it. If, you're flat, if your plant looks like this and you have just a couple yellow leaves, no worries. That's normal. That's just the part, part of nature, okay? So how do I water my plant? So if you have a plant like this, you pick them up, take them away from the canister, right? The water catcher. <laughs> and then you spray the plant completely all the way through until it's dripping wet, all right? And then when it's one or two drips left, then you put it back um, where it goes, wherever it goes. Okay, hold on one second. All right, so if you have a plant like this one that's in a clay pot, then you do the same thing water the whole entire plant because it's where we have to be like rain that's how rain works right so we have to water the entire plant let the rain uh <laughs> let the water seep all the way through and go all the way down until you know one or two drips the same deal okay awesome if you have a container like this one i'm not going to carry the, the aloe he's too heavy <laughs> If you have a container like this one, then you would just put the water here, right? All right, awesome. Uh, so we talked about water, Wa uh, so water. This is a couple takes I've taken, so. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about water. So if you're using tap water, which I do, and some people use bottled water, by the way, but I use tap water, but I let it sit out. Um, so all the sediment, all the, um, all the chemicals evaporate. Another thing is you can use rainwater as well. Oh my gosh, plants love rainwater. Okay, so even if you wanna put a bin outside when it's raining and just collect a little water and just go around and water your plants, absolutely. And if you wanna put a little boost in your water, there's a couple things you can do. You can put a banana peel in a mason jar, um, cover the top, leave it out uh, in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and then take it out and let it go to room temperature and then water your plants. Um, another thing you can do, rice water is awesome. Pasta water is awesome. All these um, egg waters, you boil um, eggs, all that water really adds extra nutrients and vitamins to the water, all right? Uh, now, hmm, some tips. So if you are overwatering, or re overwatering your plant and your leaf looks like this one, I would advise you to stop watering your plant for three weeks, calm down on the watering. 
<laughs> for a little bit, let it dry out to about 60%, like I said, and then water as usual, but don't underwater. People have the tendency to overwater than underwater, overwater than underwater. Try not to do that. If you're overwatering or underwatering, just wait till the plants at about 60% and then water as usual. Okay. Um, trying to think if I have anything else. Ah, where do you water your plants? Now, if you have an outdoor space and you have a hose, awesome. What if you don't? What if you live in a one bedroom apartment? Where do you water your plants? Everyone needs healthy air. So if you live in an apartment or in a place that doesn't have outdoor space, you can, what I do in the kitchen is I just take my plants and I water them in the sink. And the plants that are in my room, I water them in the shower. So definitely doable um, and definitely something easy to do, okay? Um, one other thing very quickly I wanted to mention, when you're watering your plants, because you have to water it all the way through, don't be afraid to pull away the, the leaves and then get in there and water the plant. Another awesome tip, when you're watering the plant, you can take the stem of the plant and just move it a little bit. You know, don't be too rough, but move it a little bit because plants naturally are outside in the wind. And that wind would be doing that movement for them, right? Helping them. But our plants are inside, so they don't have that opportunity. So when you're watering your plants, feel free. Take, take your hand, move their, their stem a little bit, and that helps their stem to grow bigger and stronger. Okay? All right. Now, I hope that that helped um, many of you as far as watering your plants. My advice um, in the end would be underwater. <laughs> My advice would be to underwater because it's the number one reason why um, plants get sick um, and die is overwatering. So under versus over water. Okay, that's my tip for everyone. All right, y'all. I'll see you later. Bye.